Hi, I'm Sean Thomas, and this is Two Wheel Tips and Tech, brought to you in under two minutes. Today, we're going to compare conventional suspension, like on this BMW F850GS, to the telelever suspension found on some BMW models, like this R1250GS Adventure. We know that a key role in suspension is to help keep your tires on the road surface by absorbing and reacting to dips and bumps, but suspension is also affected by braking. When you apply the brakes, the force of forward momentum compresses the front suspension, creating the sensation that we know as brake dive. You can see this brake dive occurring here on the BMW F850GS. That's a lot of movement, which is typical for motorcycles with conventional suspension. Some BMW models like this R1250GS Adventure come standard with a telelever. This is an element you'll find attached to the fork brace here and the engine block here, as well as a single spring strut in the center for suspension and damping. Now look at how the R1250GS Adventure reacts to the same braking scenario. Note the brake dive is greatly diminished. This is because the telelever helps to minimize the brake dive effect, leading to excellent braking response. It's important to point out that suspension technology is continuing to evolve. This means that among other things, engineers are finding ways to compensate for brake dive and other conventional suspension characteristics. Well, there you have it, folks, a briefing on the BMW telelever suspension. I'm Sean Thomas. Stay tuned for more Two Wheels, Two Minutes. <laughs> Rock on.